In this example, we want to find the integral convergence for the uh, following series. Okay, so we're going to apply the ratio test. Alright, so we need, right, so to do that we need to take the limit of the ratio of the nth plus one term and the nth term. Okay, so in this case we have for the nth term is n factorial times x to the n and the nth plus one term is n plus one factorial times x to the n plus one. Okay, so we're going to take the limit as n approaches infinity of okay, n plus one factorial times x to the n plus one all over n factorial times x to the n. Okay, so then this, okay, this is going to give us okay, uh, n plus 1 factorial over n factorial leaves us with n plus 1. And then we have x to the n plus 1 divided by x to the n. Okay, so so looking here, okay, we have x to the n plus 1 over x to the n. So that's the same as x to the n times x over x to the n. So that's going to leave us with x, okay? Right? Because these are going to these are going to cancel out. Okay, so this is going to leave us with x here, okay? So the x doesn't depend on n. So we can take out the absolute value x that will leave us with the limit as n approaches infinity of n plus 1. Okay, so this limit, the limit of this as n approaches infinity is going to be infinity. Okay. Right. So therefore, everything here, right, no matter what x is, this is going to go to infinity. Okay. And this is bigger than 1. So by the ratio test, that means this is right. This is going to uh, diverge for all x except at the expansion point. Okay, except at the center point. Okay, so the series will always converge at the center. In case, in this case, the center is at zero, because if you look up here, x to we have x to the n. Okay, so that means we don't have like we have basically you can think of this as x plus zero to the n. Okay. So the series will always converge at the origin, okay, for this, okay, at the center point, which is, in this case, uh, the origin, okay. All right, so, so it converges. So therefore, the series converges just at the origin, okay? So the radius in this case, the radius of convergence is zero because it's just at the point. So there is no, there's no interval here. It's just at the point, so the radius has to be zero here, okay?